Well, sea oats and sea grasses are just about everywhere you look along our part of the coast. A lot of this, though, didn't get here without a little help. And this time, the help came from the youngest among us. No, it's a scoop full of sand. We put in some slimy stuff called gel. Place a plant. Before you put it in, you kind of mush it to get the roots going. All with one purpose. It's beautiful here, so I just want to help out the environment. 1,500 native dune building plants in the hands of middle schoolers. It's a pretty fun experience. I'd rather be out here planting the dunes. Trading a classroom for a beach and some hands-on learning. I learned like how tall the roots were and they are 35 feet. Wow. Yeah, and so I just learned a lot of cool information like that. Donated Christmas trees scattered along the dune line serve a dual purpose. As the wind blows sand, the trees help trap them, um, but it's also a way to give those baby plants a fighting chance to establish and grow. It needs a little help because it takes a because it takes a while for these to grow. A field trip on a beach. Leaving any impact on your community is a huge deal, and so it makes you really feel good inside. A lesson that hopefully lasts a lifetime and beyond. When I'm older, like I want it to still look like this. Right, right. And not be like destroyed. On the Baldwin County Beating Gulf Shores, Debbie Williams, WKRG News 5.